to a new vlog. If you are new here, my name is Kim. I'm a second year fourth grade teacher in West Michigan, and I'm gonna get some coffee. <laughs> filming this it is St. Patrick's Day so I do have on my one lucky teacher shirt that I made for myself and then some of my co-workers last year because I figured you know what even though I'm not in school anymore it is still St. Patrick's Day and I think I'm gonna film a read aloud today and post it to my school's Facebook page or maybe like my Google classroom doing some sort of St. Patrick's Day book so I'll need to find one um we are off school so basically what happened was Thursday this past Thursday we had a half day for conferences and I think we got out of school at like noon and we found out at 11.30 that conferences were canceled for that night or postponed basically. And so I sent my kids home not really knowing what was going on and telling them that conferences were canceled but we were planning on having our next round of conferences the next week. And I thought maybe we would close down on Friday just so they could like deep clean the school or I thought maybe they were coming in Thursday afternoon and evening to deep clean the school and then we'd be fine. I really did not expect us to close. I had no idea and so anyways um and this was i think there had been maybe one or two confirmed cases in michigan but i live on the west side of the state and all of the confirmed cases were on the east side of the state so like three hours away and so anyways i really was not expecting to close at all um so anyways chris and i my husband we were watching the news quite a bit and keeping up on it and they announced that they were going to have like a big news announcement at 11. Well, usually Chris goes to bed quite early. And so we decided to stay up until 11 to watch it anyways. So we stayed up and the very first thing that the governor announced at 11 o'clock was that all schools K through 12 were going to be closed for the next three weeks. Uh, and then our spring break is on the very end of that. It's that next week after the three weeks. So basically we were closed down for at least four weeks. I was really really surprised like I just did not expect it at all and so I actually could not sleep because I had all these things running through my brain like what are my kids gonna do like a lot of them their parents work during the day uh, some of them don't have food in their homes very often it's scar scarce and um, often when they do have food it's not nutritional and so all of these things are going through my brain and I decided to just get up and make like a packet to take home for my kids because I didn't know what we were doing because uh, my district found out at the same time we did so basically we didn't know what was going on I did get an email later that night I think it was around maybe like 11 30 midnight saying that we were going to try to put packets together for each kid to take home of like a month's worth of learning and it basically just said like do your best because we most people had already gone to bed so like we didn't know about it basically until like the morning of so I was really really lucky at my principal and just a bunch of other people in my building kind of uh, went above and beyond I feel like to make it work we did a because right now we're in March's reading month and I think I've talked about it briefly but I don't remember we did the one book one school of Charlotte's Web and so every kid in my school got a copy of Charlotte's Web and at the end of the month we were supposed to do a showing of the Charlotte's Web movie as like a reward well March's reading month is basically over now so we decided to just go ahead and do a couple different showings of Charlotte's Web in the gym but I will say like my school is already under 250 kids and at this point they had given an order that there weren't supposed to be events with more than 250 people so like we were already under that amount even if we had every single kid in the gym at the same time because my school is pretty small but on top of that we ended up doing two different showings and it was like really spaced out so the kids like had plenty of room and um, we actually had a ton of kids missing that day too I think we were missing probably Probably between like 30 to 40 percent of our population and yeah it was just like an insane day I was running around trying to get everything prepared and it was probably one of the most stressful days of my entire life because I had all these sweet precious children asking me all of these questions that I did not have the answer to and also meanwhile I was trying to put together a packet that would help continue their learning but also something that they could do at home because we're not a one-to-one -one district so it couldn't be all technology because some of my kids have no access to technology so 
I did what I could. I sent home some reading works for my curriculum as well as like some fluency passage off of reading A through Z. I sent home some in-class math lessons as well as like some math homework. And then I basically spent the afternoon showing my kids how to get on every single app that was posted in our Google Classroom. And if like there were a couple of kids who didn't know their login info, so I had them write it down or take their badges home because we have like little badges for login. So, it was just crazy, you guys. It was totally, totally crazy. And now, we are, we as in teachers, are only allowed to get in the school yesterday. So I did go yesterday for quite a bit of time and loaded up my car with stuff. Like, I brought so much stuff home because like, we don't know when we're gonna be able to get in again. So today is the last day we can get in for the foreseeable future. So it is Tuesday, it's like 7.30 in the morning right now. I went ahead and just got up with Chris when he woke up this morning and I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm a morning person, so I'd rather be up in the morning anyways. Uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go into school. I'm gonna grab some more books so I can film read aloud videos at home to post on like our school's Facebook page or like my Google Classroom. And then I think I'm gonna do a Facebook Live at some point where I do a uh, read aloud of some sort of St. Patrick's Day book. So, also I'm sorry, the lighting in my house is so bad. And now I'm wondering too, like what am I gonna do for the next month? So, I don't know, it's just gonna be crazy. I really wanna film some more videos, but I am really struggling right now because I, I am very extroverted <laughs> and I've become more and more extroverted as I've gotten older like I just always love being around people and so this whole idea of like self quarantining basically or like um, having like social distance has been really hard for me because I'm the type of person like I go out to the store just for fun like just to make friends like I go and I talk to people for I mean hours sometimes people that I've never met before like I um, I mean if you've taken like the Enneagram test or if you're familiar with that if not that could be a fun thing to do over like the next month <laughs> um, But anyways, I'm an Enneagram type 7 which basically means like I always like am around people I'm really fueled by people and fueled by interactions and I don't know so it's just been really hard and really really lonely and I've already really been struggling with that like I have not felt myself at all the past couple days because I'm like, I just need to be out in the world. <laughs> like, it's really, really hard, but also I wanna be responsible and like, I am social distancing right now. So even when I go into school, like I'm not gonna pop into anybody else's classroom. Like, I'm going in my classroom, I'm getting my stuff. I wiped it all down yesterday and there's been like a cleaning crew in every day. Um, but I'm trying to be responsible because it's like, I would never wanna be the person to get anybody sick. You know, I don't wanna be a carrier. And so I'm trying to do like my due diligence, but also it's been really hard. So luckily I live somewhere where I can like go outside a lot and go hiking. Um, it's been pretty cold, but other than that, like I've been, you know, walking a lot and hiking and stuff over the past couple of days. I spent probably like two, two-ish hours, maybe an hour and a half outside the other day where it was just kind of walking around the block and walking in surrounding neighborhoods and stuff, but... I don't know, it's just crazy, you guys. So let me know in a comment below, like how are you coping right now? Because I have not been doing great, to be honest. Like, and it's not, like I am not a worrier at all. Like I think that's what's really getting me. It's like I am somebody who's usually so like laid back with this type of stuff. Not that, like anything like this has happened before in my lifetime, but like usually I'm so laid back. But right now I am not feeling laid back. I'm feeling very high strung, very anxious. And like it's all sorts of different things like I'm not really worried about like myself getting sick necessarily But I am worried about like carrying a sickness to somebody else or I'm worried about like my dad For example, my dad has a compromised immune system. He's had um, a collapsed lung twice in the past couple years and like if he were to get the coronavirus like he would not be in good shape like it would be detrimental to his health so I don't know just stuff like that is keeping me up at night and just making me like I don't know like so Anyways, let me know how are you guys doing in a comment below? I think I might order like a ring light so I can do more filming inside and I want to do more like read alouds and stuff for my kids So I don't know because I do have like studio lights that I've had like from high school probably um, but I don't really use those anymore and I one of them broke and so I only have one so anyways I might get a ring light I don't know we'll see uh, and then I do want to film like some videos for my kids too of like keeping up with some of our lessons but like I said I know not all of them have one-to-one -one technology and so is it really fair I don't know there's like that equity piece that I'm concerned about but anyways let me know how you guys are doing in a comment below yesterday I like 
took so much stuff out of my classroom. So I'll insert a little clip right here so you guys can see what that looks like. And basically I'm gonna get my stuff together right now and go in. I probably will not stay there very long, just long enough to probably do like a Facebook Live and grab some books. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed to grab. I should probably make a list before I go in. But yeah, like we don't know when we're gonna be able to get in again. And my room, like you you guys know, like I spend so much time in my classroom. Classroom, My classroom is like literally my second home and I keep so much stuff there. And I'm like not being in my classroom for a while is like surreal to me. Like I'm just like so used to being there whenever I wanna be there, you know? So anyways, I am gonna stop chatting your ear off. I'm gonna go do what I need to do and then I will check in with you guys at some point. Hey there guys, so I look kind of silly right now because I have this like headband thing on to keep me warm because I'm just about to go outside on a hike. It is like 1-ish right now, maybe 1.30. Uh, so far today I've accomplished a few things. I've emailed a handful of parents who were requesting some additional online resources because uh, I've been sending out like newsletters and stuff still or just like updates. Um, but I said if you want anything else like let me know what you need and anyway So I was responding to some of those and then I also filmed a video and posted it on my school's Facebook page So I like edited it Edited it edited it to make it nice like I wanted to add in some cute like little overlays and stuff So anyways, I did that and got that uploaded and it was just like another st. Patrick's Day read aloud and I found a joke book that I had I think I have them right here actually so I read a few jokes from the St. Patrick's Day joke book that I found in my classroom before I left and then how to catch a leprechaun, which this is such a fun book. I love this series. They have like how to catch a mermaid, how to catch uh, the Easter bunny, just like everything you can imagine. So anyways, got that all done and then just kind of hung out for a little while. Didn't really do a whole lot to be honest. I just kind of went on Poshmark, which I love Poshmark. And I did uh, kind of look around on there for a couple of things. I've been wanting to add to my wardrobe so uh, I didn't actually buy anything but I did like like some stuff on there to save it for later so I can go back to it uh, but I'm about to take a hike as you can tell I'm actually wearing my new hiking boots for the first time I got these for Christmas I actually got them for my Yosemite trip I was supposed to be taking this summer. Chris and I were going to uh, go to Yosemite for a week and then do San Francisco after. And I was so excited, but we actually did go ahead and cancel our trip just because we don't think that this is gonna be resolved by like the second week of June. There's just no way. And travel right now is like so crazy. And we just didn't want to risk anything. We didn't want to spread anything. We didn't want to get to the point where we couldn't be refunded for some of our stuff. So we were able to get a refund for like our lodging and whatnot. And then also I did have to cancel my spring break trip. I was planning on going to Memphis. We were going to stay in an Airbnb and then go to like the civil rights museum and Graceland. And, uh, we had a few other things on our list and we went ahead and just canceled that as well. And Airbnb is refunding right now as well. I think until April, something and so my trip was at the end of March and so it was able to be refunded which was awesome I love that websites and companies are offering all of these like refunds and all of these like alternative plans and basically like I just really like that everyone's kind of banding together right now because otherwise I feel like we'd all be like out of luck <laughs> basically so definitely glad that's happening but anyways I need to find my airpods a second I just went on a walk yesterday and had them and now I don't know where they went so I need to find those a minute so I can get outside and go for a walk and just kind of listen to my audiobook I'm listening to um, Just Mercy right now which I will show you guys I actually watched the movie first uh, but it's based on a book and I use the Libby app which I would highly recommend especially while we are like quarantined right now so this is what the audiobook looks like it doesn't want to focus. <laughs> there we go. This is a true story and uh, yeah, just like really, really sad and eye-opening. So anyways, this is what my Libby app looks like. 
I love it. I have some holds out right now and then some books that I've read recently. Um, some of them I listen to and if I don't really enjoy them, I just return them right away. So I haven't actually listened to every single one of these, but uh, one of my favorite recent reads, which this is for like teachers and grownups. If I have my students watching, it's not really kid appropriate, but it was called The Other Woman. It's my second one down there. It was so good. It was really interesting. It was kind of just like one of those books that you could listen to or read or whatever when you're like on the beach or just like, I don't know, kind of like a carefree time. It's like not intense at all. It's just like very like superficial or whatever, but it was really good. So anyways, I just finished listening to that one the other day and then started Just Mercy, and I love audiobooks. I listen to audiobooks all the time, and also on the Libby app, you can download books to like a Kindle or iPad or whatever, and that's pretty cool too. I do will say if I'm like reading a book, I prefer like reading a hard book, like an actual printed book, um, but right now all the libraries are closed, and so once I get through my TBR list of books that I actually have checked out, then I might have to move over to some online books depending on when the library opens again, which is crazy because I literally go to the library like a few times a week so I'm already like very confused about what I'm gonna do if I'm not going to the library almost every day so anyways uh, like I was saying I need to go find my earpods and then let's go on my walk oh yeah hey guys so now it is Wednesday and I am dressed bright and sunshiny because it is dark and dreary outside and there is like nothing I want more than to just like be outside in the sunshine right now, but there is no sunshine. It's actually supposed to start raining in just a little bit. So to kind of combat that, I'm trying to bring some sunshine out in what I'm wearing. So I am just about to film a couple of read aloud videos. I have some books up here. Uh, we are doing Charlotte's Web for March's reading month. So I was able to find this book at a thrift store a few weeks ago. And now I'm going to do a read aloud on this. I think I'm gonna do a live stream for that one. Then I thought it would be nice to do My Magic Breath. This is a great book about mindfulness and mindful breathing, and so I thought that was fitting right now. And then also it's Women's History Month, so I think I'm gonna film a couple of pages of this to put on my Google Classroom. So this is Women Who Dared. And I painted my nails last night because that has always been a de-stressor for me. So they're like this neon, not neon yellow, but like bright yellow. Uh, they actually match my water bottle. <laughs> so that's exciting. So anyways, I'm just trying to do what I can to take care of myself because as I mentioned in a previous clip, I've been feeling just not myself the past several days. So anyways, I'm trying to do like what I can to keep myself happy and healthy and all of that fun stuff. Like not going outside is really, really, really hard for me. Uh, but at the same time, like I can do it, you know, in order to keep myself and other people healthy. So it's not a big deal, but also like, you know, trying to do what I can to stay happy. So anyways, I am actually going to film these right now. And then Melissa and I have a date in a little bit. We are going to FaceTime each other since we are both social distancing right now. So we can't just like come over to each other's houses and hang out. We are going to start watching Love is Blind, which is a Netflix show. It's kind of like The Bachelor from what I want to understand. It's like a dating reality show. Um, reality, like who knows how much of it is actually real. But anyways, we're going to watch that together. We have and I don't think either of us have watched it before. I know I haven't. Uh, so we're going to watch that together on FaceTime and maybe make some popcorn and just like talk about it. So that'll be really fun. And that'll help me kind of feel like I'm hanging out with a friend even though I'm not actually. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to film these books really quick so I can get these done before Melissa and I have our little FaceTime date. So I will try to check in with you guys a little bit later as well. Hey guys, so I just filmed a bunch of read aloud videos. Uh, I filmed one Facebook Live for my school's Facebook, and then I also just filmed some other videos that I'll have to go in and edit that I filmed like here on my camera. Also, sorry, the um, coat closet is open because I was vacuuming this morning, so I need to put the vacuum away still. Uh, but Melissa and I decided we are going to watch Love is Blind at one o'clock, and it's like 12.30 right now, so I'm going to go ahead and make some lunch. I I think I'm just gonna reheat some pasta that I made yesterday because I had quite a bit of leftover. So I'm going to just heat that up a minute. And then I think I'm gonna edit this vlog, like everything that I have so far. And then by the time that I do that, I feel like it'll probably be one o'clock. So anyways, I uh, will check in with you guys probably after Love is Blind. Maybe I'll film a little clip of me watching it. I don't know. Uh, I'm definitely not like recommending the show. I've never seen it before, so I don't know if it's any good. So we'll find out, I guess, but anyways. That's the game plan. Jack is so cute. This is Chris's chair that he always sits in. 
and Jack likes to take it over when Chris isn't home, which is like so cute. Yes, yes. Oh, yesterday I thought it would be fun to give Jack a bath. It wasn't fun, so wouldn't recommend doing that to your cat. But he's so soft now. He like does not do a great job cleaning himself, I'm going to be honest. So I usually use like those pet wipes, but I decided to give him like a full bath and he was not a fan. So anywho. <laughs> Hey guys, so it is Thursday now and I just wanted to come on and end this vlog because I've edited everything up into this point and so I think it's like over 20 minutes already. Basically of just me talking about life and not really doing a whole lot but that's okay i hope you guys enjoyed it anyways definitely leave me a comment below and let me know what you would like to see during this time off do you want to see more just like vlogs around the house or do you want me to sit down and talk about something or another related to school let me know in a comment below those specific requests i would love to hear them hope that you guys are staying safe and well during this time remember to wash your hands and uh not go out unless you need to go out and all that fun stuff so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye guys